Now I really don't know what to think. It's been such a night. We arrived at the inn. It was all right. But there was a man there who kept on looking at me. With full eyes. He was younger than my uncle, but of the same kind of ilk. And my uncle started to talk to him and asked him what he was doing. And the man said, I am hunting a girl called Carmilla who killed my ward. Um, what? I said. Uh, what does she look like? For in truth, there was a prick down the back of my neck. I felt like ice. And my stomach sunk, and that sore patch started to throb, as if it was a heartbeat. Yes, she killed my niece, poor old Melissa. They were inseparable for a month, but during that month Melissa said that she had disturbed dreams, in which a cat would come to her. I cried at that point. And later that Camilla would come to her in the night. And then one dreadful night, I went down. There was a scream about two o'clock in the morning and I ran down and as I ran down it seemed to me a large cat did jump out of the room but it seemed so bloated and I looked and there was my niece dead quite dead pale and on her stomach clear tooth marks and as I looked I saw the cat shift and change and turn back to Carmilla And she smiled and laughed and said, I may go now. And she jumped like a cat out the window and ran. And ran. And as she ran, I saw the stagecoach. Her mother had bought her. The stagecoach, we had met them a month or more before. There had been an accident, I think, as far as I remember. Uh, And so Camilla had come to live with us. Pick her up. And they were gone. Riding hell to leather, men said to... Towards Bad Homburg, where they say she is still buried. What? To think of this. And then, just as I was about to say something, the stagecoach rose up, and Camilla, following our advice, our counsel, and the letter we sent her, was coming down. And she looked. And our stranger saw her, and he screamed with anger, and he took out a gun, and he was meaning to fire at her. But suddenly, she came at him. She came at him like a storm wind. She ran like an energy I had never seen before, and she hit him on the head and broke his neck. He fell back, dead. Then she turned to me with eyes as red as red can be, and opened her lips. And I think she would have gone for me, but my uncle is a brave man and a strong man and he had got out his great gun and when she saw that she slipped off into the dark and I don't know what to do my uncle didn't know what to do he asked the landlord and the landlord said she's a darkness and you won't get her away while, while she's while you won't get her free you won't make your niece free not while the creature lives And so what are we going to do? My uncle says we must go to Bad Homburg and search for the tomb. But I remember the stranger said that tomb was lost. <laughs> for nobody has found the family crypt.